Wilson. I'm getting my Bachelor of Fine Arts in Two-Dimensional Studio Art, and I graduate fall 2018. Okay, day-to-day uh, -day life um, generally starts about oh, six o'clock in the morning. I roll out of bed. I have to leave my house at 6.45 to commute. Uh, to make it to class at 8 o'clock where I have advanced painting. Um, so I have that, which is where I work on my miniature paintings, uh, my series in there. And then after that is advanced drawing, uh, where I'm working on my final series for that as well. And then I end the day with uh, a little bit of sculpture. And then there's the commute home and pretty much leaves time for sleep. been involved in some aspect of art. My family are full of like traditional, you know, painters, um, but also musicians and thespians. And so growing up, I was always surrounded from all sides, you know, creatively. And my first love was actually theater. My interest in two-dimensional art came later um, when I was probably about eight or nine. Um, my late uncle, like he was an artist as well, so he knew the, uh, the importance of the right materials and the right tools, so for Christmas one year he bought me my first paint set and then stayed up the entire night with me teaching me how to use the different paints, the different brushes, and so from that moment on art has just been the biggest part of my life. Um, you know, if I'm having a bad day, it's a place where I can escape to. Um, it just provides a creative outlet and a way for me to express myself. Um, I don't think that I could live without it. I think I would probably go insane if I didn't have that. So my series um, is a series of miniatures. The premise of that was uh, my entire life I've always been overweight. It's something that I have battled with constantly, you know, the back and forth, the dieting, the weight gain, the weight loss, um, all of the emotional and physical struggles that come along with that. So each individual painting represents some aspect of that, uh, at least my personal journey through that. Uh, my senior show was called Once Upon a Life, and the idea for that started um, in my advanced drawing class. We have to come up with a final series, and for that, I wanted to make like a visual diary um, documenting each day, like a specific event or a feeling that uh, was very powerful for me that day, and to kind of like. Um, put it down on paper essentially, but my original concept was the idea of like completion. Since this is my last semester, I wanted to complete the sketchbook. And it started off really well, where every day I would have a little sketch or a little drawing, but then one day the drawing evolved and became, instead of just being a little sketch, it became a full illustration. and. The complexity of it, to me anyway, was just absolutely beautiful. And it kind of took my series in a different direction because the more intricate designs take more than a day to do, it wasn't really possible for me to continue with that original concept. Uh, so that's really where my senior show came from. And the idea for it really is taking an inspiration and creating a visual narrative and most of the time that the early ones were based on fairy tale themes. Uh, I'm a very, as I said, I'm a very theatrical person and so fairy tales appeal to that whimsical side of me. I love them all so all of my illustrations are very whimsical and fanciful and they kind of grew from being recognizable fairy tales like uh, Sleeping Beauty and uh, Billy Goat's Gruff to kind of my own personal fairy tale illustrations. And so for my senior show I had I think a series of 21 of my illustrations and then I created 
these very elaborate gilded frames to display them in. And the idea behind that was um, an old literature whenever the pages themselves were gilded on the outside with gold or the old uh, biblical text that had gold leafing for decoration and they look a little distressed to kind of give the idea that they're very old and worn uh, which was an aesthetic that I felt was very important. I cannot honestly say that I have a favorite. The one that probably means the most to me is this one here in the middle. This is my mother. Uh, she had cataract surgery that happened to fall on National Talk Like a Pirate Day. <laughs> and so, you know, we were kind of being annoying and obnoxious in the hospital room with the nurses talking like pirates. And uh, afterwards, she was walking around for two days like a cash on her eyes. So that one's for her. So, of course, you know, it had to be in the middle. <laughs> my time here. It's a beautiful campus. The art department, the classes aren't huge, so it's really easy to get one-on-one -on -one help um, if you need it. And I have found that through the program I have made a lot of uh, connections and I've also made a lot of friends with my classmates who are kind of on the same journey that I am. So it's been a very positive experience overall. I'm so excited. Um, it's been a lot of hard work. Um, I think a lot of people who are not artists like to scoff at an art degree and like to um, mock art students because they think that art is very easy and it's actually not. It's a lot of hard work along with the academic stuff and the art is very time consuming and it's, a, it's very emotional for a lot of people because you know you put yourself into your art and the critiques you know aren't always favorable and it's like a big emotional roller coaster on top of the grades and the academic stuff so i'm very relieved that it is coming to a close um i feel like i've learned a lot but i'm definitely ready to get out into the world and you know make art for myself again and you know really just continue with that journey take a few years but the end goal I would love to be an author and to illustrate children's books there's so much that I would like to do um, I've always wanted to design wedding dresses so that might be an avenue that I pursue teaching uh, elementary school art teacher uh, my elementary school art teacher always had a lasting impact or she had a lasting impact on my life something that would be important to me is to be able to teach kids and maybe make that same kind of impact on a child's life to encourage them to work with art or to be able to express themselves in a way that they might not have been able to do before. If you're an artist, you'll do it because you can't live without it and you'll do it till you die. People are always going to have something to say. Critiques aren't always going to go well. But stick to your guns because your instincts as an artist are your most important weapon in your arsenal. Don't be discouraged. You have a bad critique day, it doesn't matter. Ultimately, it comes down to what you're passionate about and you know what you want your art to be. Just pay attention, take criticism with a grain of salt, uh, appreciate the constructive criticism, try to learn from it and grow as best you can. Don't be afraid to branch out and experiment. It won't always be easy but it's worth it.